Venus moves into Scorpio and we begin to confront personal boundary and trust issues. Hi friends, my name is Aylin. I am here to bring you weekly Venus horoscopes. We're cutting right through the noise and we're getting straight to the most important messages for you. If you're new to astrology, Venus is the planet of many things, but I'm going to simplify. Venus, the planet of choices, fulfillment, and getting our needs met, and very oftentimes heavily focused on our relationships and how we're interacting with one another, is now in the sign of Scorpio where it doesn't really necessarily like to be in. Venus is at its detriment in the sign of Scorpio. And what does that mean? It basically means that Venus is in a place where it is not as comfortable in the sign of Scorpio. It feels a little bit strange or out of sorts. Um, you could also call it like alien-like. It doesn't really necessarily know how to, you know, be the most comfortable in the sign of Scorpio. Now let's take a look at where Venus was last week. Last week we were finishing up a transit where Venus was taking a look at our ideals, our goals, the best case scenario for our relationships, the best case scenario for fulfillment. We were reviewing a lot of those themes. Now this week, we're dropping into the sign of Scorpio where we're getting to the root of things. We're getting to the bottom of a lot of our issues that have been long standing. Now, even though Venus does not prefer to be in the sign of Scorpio, it is an opportunity for us to really work with challenges and overcome them and master them and actually become a lot stronger. So even though sometimes there is a planet that does not like to be in a particular sign, it is an opportunity for us to strengthen and to get to the bottom of certain things so that we can become stronger. Now, this week's horoscope is going to go from Sunday, September 12th until Saturday, September 17th. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the most important transit that is going to be happening here in regards to our relationship dynamics, our needs, and really what is going to be happening when it comes to fulfillment. Always constantly working on this aspect. As long as we will be alive, We'll be working on this aspect. And that is why I find Venus is going to be a planet that we definitely want to pay attention to. And that is what inspires me to bring these Venus horoscopes to you on a week to week basis. Now, from September 12th until the 17th, Venus is going to make a very important square. Venus in Scorpio is going to be squaring Saturn in Aquarius at seven degrees. Now, let's break this down. Now, I am going to pop up the chart so that you guys can see it, what it actually looks like right here on this. Uh, chart Venus at seven degrees in the sign of Scorpio. What really is this all about? This is about reviewing how we trust ourselves. In my opinion, in my experience, what I've seen a lot with any of the Scorpionic energy, it is going to be themes of trust, themes of boundary. It is also going to cover themes of rejection and loneliness. In particular, we are going to be taking a look at rejection and loneliness themes when Venus is going to be making this square at seven degrees to Saturn. Sometimes I find that with this kind of a square, and as in particular with Venus being in the sign of Scorpio, we could have this um, fear of really sharing ourselves with another person or getting to know this other person or re even reaching out because there is sort of this fear of rejection that we have or that we're not going to get the reciprocation or the energy that we've put out. It's not going to come back the same way. So there could be some of the feelings that we could have here of not wanting to reach out or hesitation to reach out to someone or to reach out to take the next step in regards to what we need or making the choices that we are kind of reviewing at this time. Now, let's take a look at Saturn in Aquarius at seven degrees. When we think of Saturn, we think of responsibility. We think about working for something rather than wishing for it to happen. And we also think about strengthening or becoming stronger by repetitive motion. There's a lot more that we can discuss about Saturn, but in general, these are some of the themes that we can uh, take a look at, especially if you're new to astrology. These are some of the things that will very much and very often be an influence that comes up in the chart. Now, Saturn and Aquarius at seven degrees what does all of that mean? Aquarius is a sign where we really look at our human life. 
and how we relate to this human life. Now, Saturn and Aquarius at seven degrees will deal with the reorganization of responsibilities or things that may feel a little bit um, heavy. It can also speak to where we feel that our energy really belongs. That is another thing that we could be taking a look at with Saturn at seven in Aquarius. Now, these two are going to be in a square, Venus and Scorpio to Saturn and Aquarius. And what does a square mean? Especially if you're new to astrology, a square is where we need to make two sides of the coin work. We don't really have an option, but these energies come up so that we can work these two areas out. And it's not basically leaving one for the other, but it's more about making both of the energies work. In particular, what I see with this particular square that we are going to be working through this week is, is that we are going to come to terms with how loyal we actually are to ourselves. And it is going to bring up friction. Now, Venus is the faster moving planet here. So I do believe that Venus is going to get a big amount of attention wherever it is going to be transiting through the houses for you you will basically have to review what boundary issues might be coming up, what trust issues might be coming up, where you might feel a rejection or where you might feel like you have to really work through things that feel sort of bothersome to you, but in a way where you can't quite avoid it. Because Venus is uncomfortable, it is going to bring up uncomfortable sort of situations. But again, it is all an opportunity for us to work through it and to see what we need to expand on, which is what Saturn and Aquarius really ultimately wants us to do, in my opinion, is, is that what do we need to expand? What conversation do we need to expand so that we can reorganize certain areas of our life? I also feel like with this particular square, one of the other things that came up for me when I was taking a look at the transits this week is, is that Saturn's message here is, is that it's bringing you an inner wisdom now. And it's bringing something forth in your life to give you a deeper sense of purpose. And with this deeper sense of purpose, Saturn is bringing forth this final conversation with the square to Scorpio by saying, are you going to draw the line? Are you going to put the boundaries in? Are you finally going to trust yourself? Are you finally going to let go of this fear of rejection or the fear that you are not enough in some form or shape so that you can really overcome this next step. So you can actually start to relate to yourself in a completely different way. So that is what I'm seeing here. That's what we're looking at this week. Now let's dive into your chart and take a look at what this means for your zodiac sign. Before we get started real quick, all of my information is in the description uh, box below this video. You can hop onto operasastrology.com uh, and there you will be able to find everything that I offer. If you want to work a little bit closer with me, I do offer different types of readings. So be sure to check that out. All that info is in the description box below, or you can go to uprisingastrology.com. For your horoscope, we're going to be doing two things. The first thing is, is we're going to be discussing for your sun and rising. You can listen to both your sun and rising sign. Sometimes people find it helpful to listen to their moon sign as well. Absolutely. If you wanted to get like a bigger reading, you can totally do that as well. Now I am going to be covering what houses the square is happening in for your particular zodiac sign. And then I am going to be showing you a tarot card as a spiritual message as well. I love combining these two. I just sometimes feel that it's really, really hard to give an exact prediction for all of you out there because it's a general reading. I absolutely love combining the astrology with the tarot because I find it gives us a lot more insight. It gives us a lot more clues as to what might be coming up. So we are going to be taking a look at both of these aspects. For Aries and Aries rising, Venus is going to be squaring from your eighth to Saturn in the 11th house. This is going to bring up some reorganization of boundaries, trust, and going deeper within to find a bigger purpose between shared resources. This is your eighth house. And then also Saturn in the 11th house, which is the long-term goals. There are some needs here that are going to be coming up. And Saturn says, will you master the necessary steps? And will you go in to take a look at what you actually at this time are responsible for so that your shared resources will start to straighten themselves out? Now, your spiritual advice card of for you, Aries, is the two 
of clubs. This is really interesting because I feel like you are going to really connect the dots here. It's time for you to move on from a certain heartbreaks or something that felt really heavy or something that felt like a disappointment that kept you in this place. And that is what you're taking a look at. Ultimately, you're getting to the bottom of what kept you really heavy and negativity that's been occurring. Now we're taking a look at the 11th house here, right? It could be with friends. It could be with associates, affiliations. It could be with your long-term goals. The other thing that you're connecting the dots about is with Venus in the eighth house and Scorpio, you are really going to get to the bottom of what has felt so controlling in your life? What are who or the needs that you have? What feels so controlling in your life? And it feels like that you constantly have to give your energy in a way that feels limiting. So you're going to be reviewing this. You're going to see things clearly now. The two of clubs says you are going to start to connect the dots of what has kept you in this negative place. For Taurus and Taurus rising, Venus is going to be in your seventh house. And here it is going to square Saturn in the 10th house. Your seventh house is the house of partnerships, bonds to others, one-on-one -on -one relationships. This can also be business partnerships, any kind of legal contracts that you have. And then here with Saturn in the 10th house, you're taking a look at your career legacy and deliberate actions that you're taking. Now, so what I'm seeing between uh, the squares is, is that there could be some difficulty in regards to trusting partners, in regards to even trusting yourself. If you don't have a business partner, this could be just simply trust towards yourself, the kind of bond that you have towards yourself. And how this really plays out with responsibilities at work is, is that you are taking a look at your set of responsibilities that could feel a little bit heavy right now, and it could kind of get in the way of you really creating the time that you need to create also when it comes to your partner. Oftentimes with Saturn in the 10th house, you could really have the strength to make a push towards things that need to get handled at this time. And so I feel like this is going to be a really good period this week to get to the bottom of what really needs to change in order for your relationships to work out better or the relationship that you have to yourself. Your spiritual advice card here is the king of spades. Now the king of spades is, um, or the kings in the cards of truth is related to the Pluto energy. This is going to be a time where you can really overcome any obstacles. If you put your mind to it, you will be able to overcome any kind of obstacles that you are experiencing at this time in regards to your career and in regards to how to make your career work with your relationship dynamics. The other thing that I'm seeing here with the King of Spades is, is that it's all about you really stepping into a new version of yourself by balancing out a give and receive. What are you giving? What do you need to receive? And those are the things that you're starting to get to the bottom of now. For Gemini and Gemini rising, Venus will be in your sixth house, the house of daily responsibilities, uh, daily routines, lifestyle, and it's also going to be squaring Saturn in the ninth house. This is the house of philosophies, freedom. Uh, this is the house of the higher consciousness, higher mind. Um, and so here for you, I really feel that between the sixth and the ninth house, you are being asked to review where you're allowing for your needs to be overpowered by the day-to-day -day responsibilities and how this actually restricts you from seeing things from a different kind of point of view or being able to connect to necessary, maybe even spiritual pursuits. With Saturn in the ninth house, you are taking a look at restrictions to freedom, restrictions to philosophy, restrictions to expanding the higher consciousness. And so here with Venus in the sixth house, it is bringing up the kind of lifestyle that you might be living right now that is not allowing for you to deal with these restrictions or vice versa, that you are actually in a place where you have to change your lifestyle in order for you to really put the work in to get to the place that you want to get to in life that feels a lot more free and is also a lot more of an energetic match to your philosophy. Now, the spiritual advice card that I have for you is the seven of spades. The seven of spades is a card that has a lot to do with giving up things that are outdated. That is the number one thing I want to say about this card. The seven of uh, spades is a card where you know, you've put a lot of hard work in, but now it's time to kind of move on. There's something that's outdated. You just don't need that anymore, but it feels very personal. And sometimes when we are in this place where you are giving up something that feels so personal to you, it's not easy. And so with this card, what you're taking a look at is that the moment that you give it up though, the moment that you get to the bottom of what that thing is that you just can't 
move on with anymore in the daily lifestyle, you are now going to see that there is a different plan. Sometimes when we free up space, especially in our lifestyle, when we give up certain things that we just don't need anymore, that it is not good for our body anymore, we tend to realize that there is another plan here and that there is another pathway that is opening up. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Gemini. For Cancer and Cancer Rising, Venus is going to be in your fifth house, the house of purpose, the house of children, house of romance. Um, also is going to be squaring Saturn in the eighth house. This is the house of shared resources. Um, it is going to be a tougher week, I feel like, for a lot of the Cancer Risings because Venus is going to bring up uh, some aspects here in your fifth house that could be um, hard to deal with in the sense that there could be some fear that might come up in regards to romance, in regards to rejection, or with your children or your purpose, right? The purpose that you're living out, there might be a pit stop here for you to take a look at how this really impacts also the shared resources with someone else. Who are you sharing resources with? Who are you um, having obligations with behind the scenes that now you are reviewing this kind of an energy? There's something that comes up here where you are being asked to um, just kind of let go of things that feel, and the word that comes up for me for you is nostalgia. And I don't know why. Let's take a look at your spiritual card. It is the six of clubs. It's kind of like a nostalgic, period. Um, it's almost like the, the past is kind of greeting you this week. There is going to be a letting go of previous fears, but they're connected to heartbreak. Perhaps you had this experience where you allowed for yourself to open up and personal boundaries, you know, were expanded with this person. You shared something with this person. And then there was a heartbreak sort of attached to this, a disappointment attached to this. So what I think this is bringing up for you to speak is, is that you are finding your way back to the fifth house stuff. You're finding your way back to your heart. You're finding your way back to joy and allow for yourself to be generous with who you are and what it is that you're going through and be compassionate about that too. That is going to be key this week for you, Cancer. For Leo and Leo rising, this square is going to happen with Venus in the fourth house and Saturn in the seventh house. What is this going to bring up? Well, the fourth house is the house of our emotional upbringing, um, the house that literally provides how we operate on an emotional basis all throughout our life, right? It's our emotional foundation. Often, it can also speak to who comes to your house, what is happening in your home, inside of your home, the comfort levels of home. Now, with Saturn in the seventh, there is going to be a reviewing or a restriction that is coming up with a relationship in particular. It could be a business partnership. It could be some kind of bond you have to someone else. But again, it could also speak to yourself. And you may not like what is showing up at this time. There might be a need to lay out a new foundation when it comes to your emotional comfort levels. Something has to change. And things just don't feel comfortable in the same way anymore. And I think that you're starting to realize that. Some of you, Leos, it's not going to be true for all of them, but some of you may also realize that your relationships, the most important relationships, they might be not so important anymore. There might be something here. There's an energy shift that is occurring. Now, your spiritual advice card is the six of spades. What I'm seeing here with the six of spades is, is that you might feel like emotionally that you're stuck, that there's nothing to do about this that you are in a powerless situation somehow, but I want you to challenge that truth because the six of spades is a powerful path opening card, okay? Six of spades, there's effort that is required here. There is some shifting of perspective and adapting that is required here. And I feel like that this is the foundation that you're being asked to lay down, especially when it comes to important partners or people in your life that you're having bonds with or some kind of legal agreements or even things that you're trying to you know, bring into your life that will bind you legally you are going to have to really work on what foundation you're setting and what you're emotionally comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. Identifying that is going to be key. It is going to free you. It's going to allow for you to shift your mindset. For Virgo and Virgo rising, the square is going to be happening between your third and your sixth house. And very often what I see between these two houses when there is a square that happens there, there's an exchange of ideas in the third house. That's where Venus is at in Scorpio for you. There's an exchange of ideas 
or some kind of communication that is coming up between you and others where there is a disruption because boundaries are being crossed. Venus and Scorpio, it is about boundaries. It is also about, you know, you basically reviewing some kind of, you know, mistrust that could be coming up here at this time as well. So in the sixth house, it is a disruption to a lesson for you here in regards to how to make your day-to-day -day habits more receptive. It is about more receptivity and it is about drawing a like clear line that now you have to let other people know like this is as far as you'll go. The giving and the receiving is out of balance here. Something is out of balance here. You know, with, with Venus, we're taking a look at balance all the time, but your needs are not being met. And the moment you draw the line, this is when it's going to be a lucky time. The moment you draw the line, the spiritual advice card that I drew for you is the nine of clubs. The nine of clubs usually talks about uh, an energy here where we are drawing up a new plan, but you may have to right now do this on your own. You may have your mind on certain aspects where you're wanting to reach out, you're wanting to connect to other people, but this is not the time to do it. This is a time for you to stick to your plan. This is a message that's coming through very, very strongly for me for you here, because in order for you to stay grounded and maintain your balance right now, you have to really sacrifice maybe some time uh, spent with other people. And when that happens, oftentimes other people sense that you're not like available. And of course, more of the boundary crossing and communication comes through during this time. So you could be experiencing that. But again, Saturn is saying right now, you got to pay attention to your set of responsibilities in the day to day. That is what needs your attention. And you may have to draw the line. That's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. For Libra and Libra rising, Venus is going to square from your second house to Saturn and the fifth house. This is going to be a time where you are definitely going to be taking inventory of your money situation and what and who and how boundaries are being crossed, or you might not be trusting yourself to manifest more in your life. You might not be trusting yourself. You could be in this place where you're starting to realize that the things that you have tracked it are not allowing for you to expand financially or are not allowing for you to get to some of the needs that you have when it comes to the material stuff. That's your second house here. Now you could really make some headway here to see where you are trying to put all of your energy in and what type of energy you need to put in in order to master this aspect in your life. Saturn is in the fifth house, teaching you new ways on how to approach either your role with your children, your romantic life, anything that you express that brings you joy. Now, the spiritual advice card that I have for you, Libra, is the seven of uh, diamonds. The seven of diamonds is a card that really does talk about right now, do not spend your money. <laughs> Don't spend your money. Try not to, you know, get into some kind of contract. Right now is the time to understand what you do with your money, how you really spend your money. You could also have some situations that will come up here the following week because this is going to be a time where there is going to be a T-square that is forming here between Venus, Saturn, and Uranus. We're going to talk more about that in the upcoming next week horoscope. But you want to start to really pay attention to what are some of the themes that are coming up when it comes to finances and how are you really relating to yourself? What kind of boundaries do you have when it comes to possessions and finances and things that you need? You feeling like you're feeling kind of a bit restrictive or you're not getting what it is that you need um, in regards to this these themes that we just talked about. So the universe is really trying to reach you here. There is an opportunity for you, even though it may feel a little bit hard right now, you are going to have an opportunity here. And can you accept whatever is going on? Can you really accept it? Can you allow for that to work through you so that you can actually get to what it is that you're trying to master from your fifth house, which is your heart literally mastering your heart, your heart's energy. And the moment that you start to really open yourself up and your heart's needs, you're going to see that you have changed a lot. And so now it's time to review the boundaries when it comes to money-making and manifestation, literally. That's what I'm seeing here for you, Libra.
for Scorpio and Scorpio rising, Venus is going to be squaring from your first house to Saturn in the fourth house. The first house where Venus is at is going to be all about your character, your identity at this time. And the sat and Saturn in the fourth house is going to be all about your emotional comfort. And so reorganizing emotional comfort here reorganizing some of the maybe responsibilities that you have when it comes to home, when it comes to family, the spiritual advice card that I have for you is the ace of spades. You're literally coming out here as a new version of yourself. You've been working on this for a while, but this week there is a little bit of a reorganization that has to happen when it comes to how you are emotionally relating to yourself, what you do. For some of you, it is the energy that you bring to the table either with your family or with yourself emotionally. It's the foundation that you're creating here. Venus in Scorpio is going to have you see the bigger picture now. Lastly, what I do get from this is also that you are really in a place where you are to embrace whatever it is that is going on or any kind of oppositions that you're maybe getting. Might, might be even from family members or people who have the certain idea of you. It's like so outdated. And there is going to be a moment where you're going to be able to see that you have overcome this aspect of your life. But at first, it is more about digging in deeper and understanding your purpose now and how you even portray yourself to others. There is going to be a revision of that that is sort of internally happening. And that's what I'm seeing here for you, Scorpio and Scorpio rising. For Sagittarius and Sagittarius rising, Venus squaring Saturn is going to happen between your 12th house and your third house. The 12th house the house of the cosmos, oceanic consciousness. It is also the house where we are just looking at our spirituality. It could be institutions as well. And it is going to be squaring Saturn in the third house where there is an exchange of ideas. So there could be right now where you guys are going to have a clash of different ideas with other people. There could be an exchange of what you find is your spiritual truth what do you find is somebody else's spiritual truth? And right now we're seeing that a lot, right? But for you in particular, there could be something that is happening here where there's an exchange of ideas that really allows for you to reevaluate where your energy belongs and reorient your mindset. There could also be a period here where there's a lot of different opinions and a lot of different ideas. And this person is saying this, this person is saying that. And it is going to be really important that you are listening to yourself first and foremost, because that's where Venus is at. Venus is going to bring up in Scorpio some feelings of past rejections or some isolation or some kind of abandonment as well. I could see that as well here where the boundaries were being crossed, but it is a spiritual turning point. And what you're realizing is is that there is going to be four of clubs, an idea that is being born out of this where you are going to really trust the mystery of your life at this point. There is sort of a turning point here along your journey, and you're sensing that now. Even though you may have been experiencing a downward cycle in your life with recent events, especially some kind of restrictions to the day-to-day sort of mindset, the day-to-day sharing of your ideas. I'm also seeing for a lot of you Sagittarius, is the last thing I want to say here with the four of clubs is, is that this is a time to really Take in all the info, take in what other people are saying, but don't respond yet. It's not the time to really respond yet. It's the time to respond to yourself first, to your own spiritual needs, to what you believe in. And taking that and just allowing for yourself to work through it, understanding where you stand, and then approaching things again from a new uh, set of energy. Now, right now, I think over the next two weeks, for a lot of you, this is going to be unfolding in in a way where there is going to be a turning point. And that turning point will have to do with you putting together the missing pieces of information. But more on that in the next upcoming horoscope as well for next week. Right now, you're just getting to the bottom of where you need to draw the line for yourself to trust in your own spiritual uh, faith and your own spirituality versus all these people having different opinions. And once you get back to that place, you're going to be so powerful. You know, that is a place I think that you're returning back to. And that's what I'm seeing here for you, Sagittarius. For Capricorn and Capricorn rising, the Venus Saturn square is going to be happening from your 11th to your second house. This is huge because Venus in the 11th house is going to bring up themes you know, that could be themes where there is boundary crossing, themes or subjects that are taboo, never discussed, but now are being discussed. 11th house is the house of friends, affiliations, 
um, networks of people. Sometimes it could be technology as well, but there are some themes that are coming up here where there is literally a boundary crossing or some kind of boundary crossing that is coming up. And it's coming up here because Saturn in the second house is basically saying, okay, this is gonna impact and reorganize how we are supporting one another. The second house oftentimes for me can be a house of support as well through material stuff and finances as well. So there is some kind of reorganization of the finances that have to happen. With the second house, I'm seeing also that you are going to be taking control back or you're trying to take some kind of control back based on what you are finding out out there through social networks, through changes that are happening, could be also changes that are happening globally that you are now starting to realize, okay, you have to really draw the line and you need to buckle down and you need to, you might have to also invest some money into reorganizing the long term. And it could be in regards to an affiliation or an organization that you're part of. The special advice card that I have for you is the two of spades. This is an awesome card. You're going to find a solution and you're going to be guided to it. That's what I'm seeing. You're also going to take control back. That is what this is about. You're wanting to take control back. There is a part of you that is going to come back online when it comes to certain aspects that you have been maybe feeling exhausted about. Maybe you have been feeling like it's taken all of your energy. This week, you're getting to the bottom of what's been happening with you. And you are going to rise up again when it comes to this particular issue that is rising up. And it's straight up what I'm seeing here for you, Capricorn. For Aquarius and Aquarius rising, the square is going to happen between your 10th house and your first house. Now, the 10th house is the house of your legacy, career, public reputation, and it can also be the house where you are taking deliberate action, okay? That means a lot to you. Now, the first house is a house that oftentimes has to do with how you portray yourself. So I feel like for a lot of you, what you could be experiencing is, is that you might be wanting to move on in a particular way, but you're now going to find out that your work or the kind of legacy that you've been building, it doesn't really match anymore. It's, it's almost like a lot of you are in between like spaces. Now, for some of you, it could be that something happens at work that is now showing you that who you have been out there with your work environment isn't really what you want to portray anymore. Now, for some of you, there could be some changes that are going to happen or the beginning conversation of changes that are happening that really are not going to sit well with you, that are going to be um, things that you're going to be suspicious of when it comes to the work environment. It could be with bosses. It could be with the company that you're working for. There could be something that is coming up where you're going to say, this is not who I am. This is not what I want to really, you know, believe in or that I want to embrace at this time in my life. And it's sort of bringing up a space for you to work through. Um, but you're sensing those things now. It is about digging in a little bit deeper and finding out what is behind the intentions and the motives of those people. That is one thing that I'm seeing. It's not going to be true for all Aquariuses. If you're working for yourself, this is just going to be a time where I feel like you have to sort of embrace the in-between spaces that you're in. And the reason for that is because you could be working harder right now in order to really build your legacy. And you could realize that there is parts of you that don't maybe believe that it's going to happen or something along those lines, or you have to work through some difficulty here in order to allow for yourself to see what it is that you want to create and you have to have more boundaries in place. Again, there's several different scenarios that could be happening here, but those are the types of themes that we're taking a look at. Now, the spiritual advice card that I have for you is the, I love this card because there is not a whole lot to do right now. It is just a time where you have to maybe see how to build a better, uh, closer connection to yourself first. So right now, you still have time. You still have time to embrace the space that you're in, what holds true to you, working through those things, working through your beliefs so that you can own your life in a kind of different way again. So I think that it's going to be a very powerful time, but it's just really taking inventory of where you feel like you want to place your trust. That's what I'm seeing here for a lot of the Aquariuses and Aquarius risings. Pisces and Pisces rising. The Venus Saturn square is going to happen between your ninth and your 12th house. Now, Venus is in the ninth house, the house of philosophy, freedom, the higher 
consciousness, expanding your mind. It's the house of education. It is, the, it is also the house of teachers and gurus. So here you could be finding out something that you didn't know where a teacher and a guru maybe misuse trust. Maybe it's not connected to you, but it's connected to someone else, but you're sensing that this person isn't the right person for you anymore. Or you could be sensing that there is someone who you have been learning from that now is no longer going to be the person that you should be following. There could be something that is going to come up here, or simply you could be realizing that now you are wanting to create more in this area, but you don't know where to start. Saturn in the 12th house. This is how you are building a new kind of spiritual connection, a new faith, a new sort of karma that is going to be a pattern, but the old pattern has to be reviewed. That's the period that you are in right now. Now let's take a look at your spiritual card. The spiritual card that I have for you is the four of diamonds. I feel like we've been drawing a lot of fours in this weekly horoscope. And what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces, is just that Right now, it is so important to understand where you put your energy and where you're trying to plant seeds. This is really, really important. You are going to leap forward. If you're feeling stuck right now, just know that you're going to leap forward, but it really is about perseverance and it's about your dedication. Right now, you may find out that you are not as free to expand on certain philosophies the way that you thought. There is some kind of sensing that you have to maybe find out a little bit more about examining what you are a part of, examining where you're placing your energy. I feel like for a lot of you, what could be coming up here, especially with the Four of Diamonds, is that right now you may need a higher commitment. The higher commitment might be part of what it is that you have faith in, your spiritual connection, literally the signals that you're getting every day from your spiritual connection, whatever your divine connection is, whatever you consider to be your divine connection, your source, there could be a sort of bigger kind of dedication to that that is necessary at this time. And your relationship to philosophies or your relationship to people that are part of the same philosophies, there might be a different reorganization that is happening within you for you to pay attention now that there is maybe a lack of commitment or a new kind of commitment that is necessary in regards to feeling free, in regards to expanding your mind, in regards to dealing with things that are all of a sudden feeling so restrictive, like when, as before, it wasn't. What's the sacrifice? That is the question that keeps coming up for me for you here. What are the sacrifices that people are making? Maybe not necessarily related to you, but it's impacting you. So there is sort of, and I'm going to draw just one more card for you because I feel like it's necessary here. Whatever you guys are dealing with, it's almost like something is not going the way that you expected. Yes. Seven of spades, something is not going the way that you expected it to be. And the reason it's not going that way is because you have to change. Maybe you thought this whole thing is going to change, the whole approach or the philosophy or something out there was going to change or that person was going to change. It's your, it's your changing. And so because you're changing, your goals or the long-term goals are going to change as well. Queen of hearts. That's the other card that came up here with that. And so what I'm seeing here is, is that you, if you've been in a place where you've been experiencing a lot of isolation, part of this isolation period is teaching you about patterns about yourself, patterns about yourself. If you dig a little bit deeper into your philosophies, into where you're not expanding your mind and looking at your life from a different perspective, which can be Venus and Scorpio, definitely in the ninth house, I feel like you are going to understand where you have left yourself out of the equation. This is not true for every Pisces, Pisces rising, but something is coming up here that is really shaking you up in a way where you are going to take a look at your own patterns so that you can understand where you leave yourself out of the picture, where you're not being good to yourself. And I think that that is going to be the key. Now, what's the outcome? I know it's a longer reading for you. Sometimes we have to do it. What's the outcome here? The outcome is going to be, look at this, nine of hearts. The nine of hearts is a beautiful card that basically says you're coming to an end of a cycle where you're learning to be so much better to yourself. 
That's what this card is about. Straight up. It is about, are you going to be better to yourself? The answer is yes. That's the outcome. Whatever it is that you're going through right now over this week and then over the next two weeks, because it's going to be this Venus square Saturn is also forming a a T square, even though it's a loose one, you are going to be reviewing and putting together ways on how to approach your life differently. But also it is about you being better to yourself and having a much more spiritually connected uh, relationship to who you are first and foremost. And that's what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces. That's a wrap on this week's weekly horoscopes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. It helps me out. It helps out you know, for us to stay connected. And I want to stay connected to you guys. Let me know what you thought of this week's weekly um, horoscopes. Leave a comment below. I want to hear from you guys. Another way to stay connected to me is on Instagram at Abra's Astrology Podcast. All of my information is in the description box below this video. Be sure to check it out and I will see you guys here next week.